Hi, today I'm going to share with you how you can sign up to SwiftX step by step, even if you're a complete beginner. I'm also going to share with you something that's important that you need to do to your account if you're just starting out buying cryptocurrency. So let's get straight into the video. If you do have any questions at all, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And if you do want to sign up to SwiftX, there'll be a link in my description. Let's get straight into the video. All right, so now, first step you need to do is come to the website SwiftX, which is swiftx.com.au. I will leave a link in the description. So once you're on this website, you can feel free to check it out if you want. But what you want to do is go to the top right here and click on sign up. So once you click on sign up, it'll take you to another page. It'll just load up another page where you can create an account. Now the top part here is just selecting the country you're from. So you can be from either New Zealand or Australia to use this platform. I'm not sure if they're expanding in the future, but right now you have to be either Australian or New Zealander to be able to sign up to SwiftX. There you need to put your last first name and last name and then your phone number and then your email address and then you just need to confirm you're not a robot so i'm going to just go ahead and do this for you and i'll show you what it looks like after so i'm just putting in information all right so once you've put all the information in that you needed to put in next step is to click on i'm not a robot and then once you've done that you just click on continue then it's going to send your phone number a code you can either put this in this will just confirm your phone number on your account i do recommend doing this because this is just an added extra security so yeah, feel free to do that. Put your phone number in, the code that you get to your phone number. But I'm gonna skip it for this time around. And then you wanna verify your email address. So you just get a code from your email address. Now you can skip this as well, but I would go and put the email code in just to confirm your email address. I recommend it, highly recommend it. So this is what the code will look like in your email address. So you just log into your email and you should have an email from SwiftX. It should say, welcome to SwiftX. And then you just grab this code. This is your verification code. So just copy that and then go back to here and copy that into here. So I'm gonna paste it into there and then my code has been confirmed. Now all I do now is put in a password and re-enter my password and make sure they have eight characters, one uppercase and lowercase and one number and one spe special character. But yeah, so you just do that and then once you've entered those, you just click on agree to terms of service and then you hit create. All right, so now you just click on create your account. Once you've put your passwords in, it'll all be green if you got it correctly there. And then just click on create. And then as you can see, you now have a SwiftX account loaded up. And this is what it will look like if you're brand new when you're first signing up. So I'm gonna share with you the most important thing to do with your account before you do anything else. So you wanna to come to the top right here. You see a little symbol. It has your first and last name on here. You need to click that little round blue area with your first and last name. This will open up an account where it says switch accounts, verification profile. You wanna to go to your profile. So this is where all the security will be when you first click on profile. It'll say your account name. So the name that your account's under and then your email address, which is verified already and your phone number now if you do need to change your phone number you click on this button right here and just put the new phone number in here your mo new mobile number depending on where you live New Zealand or Australia you will need to change this to New Zealand if you're from New Zealand or if you're from Australia you change it to Australia then you click on continue once you put your number in there and then you just go on this button right here to verify your number and you just get a pin that you have to put into here and then it'll verify your phone that's the first thing that I would do I'd recommend to everyone do that you can also come to personalization feel free to go dark mode if you want so there's a dark mode option here if you click on this little icon here you can change your currency if you wish to whatever you want australia new zealand dollars you can have the demo mode that's totally up to you and you can also check for updates here then you can go down to the security tab right here and you can see the most important thing create a complex password no known password breaches so this just lets you know if your password has been leaked online somewhere i think now you can also check for yourself here if you click on this link now the most important thing that everyone should do when they first sign up is to add two-factor authentication this is the most important so if you are using two-factor authentication this is something you want to read on you can click on this this will just give you more details if you want to understand what how it all works but pretty much it's just this app right here I'll show you so this is the actual Google Authenticator app now you can download it on Apple Store or you can download it onto the Google Play Store so let's go back to SwiftX and let's go and activate it so right here as you can see you can 
can have the Google Authentication app right here. You just wanna click on Enable, and this will just give you a bit more details. You wanna click on Continue Two-Factor Setup. Now the key here is you need to scan or copy the code below. So you need to actually go ahead and download the app. Now I'm gonna show you how you can do this. So if you get on your phone, so if you get on your phone and you go to the App Store or the Google Play Store, whatever one, you click on it, then you can go and search what app you want. So we're gonna search Authenticator. Authenticator app at the top, you see that? Click on that. And then what you wanna do now is go down to Google Authenticator. So you see Google Authenticator, I have already got it downloaded, but you can download it. And once you download it, just open it up. Once you open it up, you can see on the top, it says Google Authenticator. So what you do need to do now is, you see the bottom right, click on the little X. You want to scan the QR code. You can also type it in, the secret key code, as in a way you can type that in. But I'm just gonna scan it. So just click on the top. And all I do is scan the code and it'll automatically put it in. And you can see the bottom one, that is my actual Google Authenticator code right there. The next one up, that's my main account. But the bottom one is this account that I've just set up. So now all you do is put that same code into your computer. So 123 and 12163. And there you go. And you will just click on finished. And now you should be finished and should be all set up. And there you go. As you can see, your Google Authenticator app is now set up. It might ask you to re-log in, but that's, that's just how you can set up your Google Authenticator. It will automatically log you out of your account. So just be aware of that. So now you go back to your Google Authenticator app and you will find the actual one that you just set up. It should say SwiftX on your phone and it should be changing every single 30 seconds or more. So what you need to do is put it in here and then it will just confirm it. So once you put it in correctly, it will log back into your account and now you're back into your account as you can see. Now you can go back to the top right and just confirm that it has been set up. So go top right and then go to profile and then you can go down to security and you can see your Google Authenticator app has been set up correctly. So that's how easy it is to set up Google Authenticator on your computer. Now you can also set up SMS SMS recovery, enable your account to have two-factor to be reset via SMS. You can have your auto logout set up to every 30 minutes. So if you're logged into your account and you accidentally left it and you just left, you can set this up to log out automatically after 30 minutes. Now you can set this longer if you wish, but I think 30 minutes is enough time. So if it's left inactive. And if you wanna learn more about security, you can check out these here. But once you've set up all of this, you should be all good to go. And the next video I'm gonna teach you how to set up or verify your account so you can set up your verification so you can actually have trading abilities on the platform. I hope this video helped you out. If you do have any questions at all, feel free to let me know in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.